In this video, I want to show you how to install Windows 10 on VirtualBox. I'm using here Windows 10 as a host machine. If your host machine has another operating system like macOS or Linux, please look in the description for links of videos I made on how to install Windows 10 on VirtualBox on these operating systems. I'm assuming here that you already have VirtualBox installed and configured on your PC. If you don't have it installed, please look at the video in the description on a quick way to install it on your Windows 10 PC. So let's start first by downloading the Windows 10 ISO. Here this step, if you already have a Windows 10 ISO that is recent, you can skip this step and go to the next one which is creating the Windows 10 VM in VirtualBox. If you don't have a Windows 10 ISO, Stick with me and I'm going to show you how we are going to download it. So open your web browser and then go to this site, microsoft.com slash software dash download slash Windows 10 and hit enter. And here you have two options, update now, and this is not the option we want. Just scroll down and you see an option called create Windows 10 installation media and then click on the download tool now and the download of the tool will begin. And here it is downloading, it is very fast, it's a small tool. So now that the tool is downloaded, we need to open it. So click on open file or simply go to the downloads folder and open it from there. So here I'm gonna click on open file. I'm gonna minimize edge. And here, if you're prompted, just click yes to allow it to run. and wait for it here. This step here takes around a minute, so I'm gonna accelerate the video. And when you're presented with a license agreement, if you wanna read it, feel free to read it, and then click on accept. Wait for it once again. And here you need to click on create installation media. So select this option, and then click on next. And it will detect what version of Windows 10 you are running on your PC. If you want another version, simply uncheck use the recommended options for this PC and then choose the version you want. Here I'm okay with English United States, Windows 10 of course, and for the architecture, I advise you to keep it on 64-bit because VirtualBox accepts 64-bit machines. And then when you make your choice here, just click on next. And we need to download an ISO file. We don't need to flash a USB drive. So click on ISO file here and then click on next and choose where you want to save it. So here I'm going to choose to save it under the downloads folder and then click on save. And the download will begin. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. When the downloading of the Windows 10 ISO finishes, just click on finish here in the media creation tool and it will be closed. Now the next step is to create the Windows 10 virtual machine in VirtualBox. So open VirtualBox and then click on new and here give the machine a name. I'm gonna name it simply Windows 10. Of course feel free to name it whatever you want. And under machine folder also, if you want to change the default folder where the machine will be saved, you can change it here. I'm going to keep it as it is. For the type, as soon as you type Windows here, VirtualBox will select Microsoft Windows directly. So if you name the machine something else than Windows, you need to change here the type to Microsoft Windows. And for the version here, keep it on Windows 10 64-bit because we downloaded the Windows 10 ISO 64-bit. Of course, if you have Windows 10 ISO 32-bit, you need to change it here to 32-bit. So I'm going to keep it as it is here and then click on Next. For the memory, if your host machine allows it, it's always a good idea to give it more memory than 2 gigabytes. So here my host machine has 16 gigabytes. I'm going to give this Windows machine 4 gigabytes, which is 4096 megabytes. And then click on Next. So under hard disk here, make sure that create a virtual hard disk now is selected and then click on create. Here choose VDI if it's not already selected, then click on next. 
keep it dynamically allocated, then click on next. And from the size, I advise you to give it a little bit more than 50 gigabytes. So here I'm gonna give it 80 gigabytes. Then click on create. So now the machine is created. We still need to make some small adjustments to the settings of the machine. So make sure it is selected and then click on settings. And under general, click on advanced. And here you see you have two options, shared clipboard and drag and drop. They are disabled by default. So if you want to be able to copy and paste text from your host machine to your virtual machine, you need to enable this one here, shared clipboard. So click on the drop down arrow and then click bidirectional. So this way you can copy and paste text from your virtual machine to your host machine and vice versa. And if also you want to be able to drag files to your host machine and from your host machine to your virtual machine, you need to enable the drag and drop. So click on the drop down arrow and click bidirectional also. And here under system, click on processor, give it two CPUs. So now you have to click on storage. And then under storage, we need to attach the Windows 10 ISO to the virtual machine so that we can start it from this ISO file and we can install Windows 10 on the virtual machine. So next to controller SATA, click on the plus sign here and then click on add and go to the downloads folder or to the folder where you have your ISO downloaded, the Windows 10 ISO. So here I have it under the downloads folder. Select the ISO file and click on open. And then here you see that it is opened under not attached. So make sure it is selected and then click on choose. And you see here it is now under the controller SATA. We still need to remove this one here. So this is pointing to the physical DVD drive in your host machine. We don't need it now. Just remove it. If you need it later, you can attach it. But after you install Windows 10, so select it and then click on the remove here. And now we have the Windows 10 ISO attached to our storage and we can start the virtual machine from it. So simply click on OK. And then here, make sure once again that your Windows 10 machine is selected and then click on start. And now it should start from the ISO file. If you receive this message when you start the virtual machine, it means that you didn't remove your physical DVD drive from the virtual machine. So simply here, Click on the drop down arrow and then select Windows 10 ISO and then click on start. And this is a Windows 10 installation. I'm going to walk you through it. Let me minimize VirtualBox and bring this to the middle here. And here, of course, choose the options you want. Here I have my language English and time and currency also English United States and my keyboard is US. Of course, choose your own language and your own keyboard layout. Click on next and simply click on install now. It's true that now you see that the screen is small. I'm going to show you later on how to install something called guest additions and you can resize the screen as you want. Here. If you have a product key for Windows 10, you need to put it here. So here I'm going to put my product key. So after you put your product key, click on next. So if you didn't put the product key and you clicked on next, here Windows will prompt you to choose your edition of Windows. So of course, choose the edition that you have a product key for. Here, because I put the product key for Windows 10 Pro, it recognized the key directly and it is installing Windows 10 Pro now. So click on accept the license terms and then click on next. And here you need to click on custom because this is a new installation. And then simply leave everything by default. Simply click on next. And the installation will begin. So now after this initial phase of the installation, the virtual machine will restart automatically and the installation will continue. So I'm going to cut this video now and come back when this initial phase of the installation is almost finished. So now the initial phase of the installation is finished. Simply click on restart now. 
and here do not press any key so let it start from the virtual hard disk now it's not starting from the ISO file now so this phase here depending on the speed of your host machine and on the speed of your hard drive it can take from 5 minutes to maybe 15 minutes here I have an SSD drive so it should be very fast and now you can continue the setup here select your region and then click on yes and then select your keyboard layout and then click on yes if you want to add another keyboard here layout feel free to do this I'm gonna skip it and the setup will continue now automatically here it will ask you if you want to set up this machine for personal use or for an organization I'm gonna select personal use then click on next and here is giving you the option to log in with your Outlook account or log in with a local account if you want to create an offline account so here I'm gonna log in with my knowledge sharing account and of course if you don't want to log in with your online account you can always click on offline account and create an offline account for this machine so here after you put your email address click on next and it will prompt you to put your password so put your password and then click on next and if you want to create a pin here and I advise you to create a pin it's much easier to log in so I'm gonna click create pin and I'm gonna create a pin for this machine once you enter your PIN once and then you confirm it, click on OK. And here, for me personally, I like to turn all these off for privacy reasons. So I advise you also to do the same. And then click on Accept. So here on this screen, it will ask you how you are going to use your machine so that, as it says here, that Microsoft will customize suggestions and tools and services so I'm gonna leave everything empty I think this is too much information for Microsoft just click on skip here and then I'm not gonna link my phone skip for now and then here also I'm gonna choose to back up the files only to my local hard drive so only save files to this PC here on the bottom left select it and here also I don't want to try Microsoft 365 so here I'm gonna click on no thanks of course all these selections are personal selections you can select the options you want I'm not gonna use Cortana also and here's the window setup almost finished And yet because I logged in with my knowledge sharing account that I use on my Asus Stuff Gaming laptop, it took the same background. So here for Edge, I'm going to click on maybe later. And you see now that you cannot resize the screen. So to correct this, simply click on Devices and then click on Insert Guest Additions CD Image. And now it is inserted. So open Explorer and then you see here under this PC that you have VirtualBox guest additions double click on it and you see you have the 64-bit version of course if you installed the 32-bit version of Windows double click this one but here because I installed the 64-bit version I'm gonna double click this one click on yes click on next next install and install again and then make sure reboot now is selected and then click on finish so the virtual machine will reboot so let's log in here now and after rebooting I don't think it will work directly you should give it like a minute yeah as you see it didn't work directly just give it a minute for the services to start so now it worked and you can resize it and you have full integration with your host machine. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, 
please leave them in the comment section below and I want to thank you all for watching my video and if you like this video and you found it helpful please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up